Jessica Asalius is not afraid of coyotes. No. She has Argus, the wolf killer. They're afraid of him. Asalius, who works at the Department of Public Works, says the coyote population around Fort Irwin has been decreasing since the drought last summer. But there are enough of them, she says, to remain a nuisance. Asalius says she fields calls from worried residents. Come get this coyote. It's, you know, it's in my front yard and it won't let my kids out the front door. And it's like, well, that's unusual. And then you start to get more of the story and you realize you've been feeding the coyote either scraps or dog food or things like that. And now it's come to associate people with food and of course it's not going to give up a free meal. A couple of coyote attacks were reported just east of Los Angeles in May. While some believe there's a coyote problem in Southern California, Fort Irwin officials say it's a people problem. The reason it's a people problem is because the people oftentimes will leave their trash out or they will provide additional resources to these coyotes which allow them to thrive. They may seem like they're tame, similar to a dog or another pet, but they are indeed wildlife and we need to treat them like wildlife. Cameron Rognan says predator-prey relationships are cyclical. And although the population around Fort Irwin is on the decline, it's just a matter of time before the coyotes here come back in numbers. James Williams, Fort Irwin, California.